and sir welcome how are you i'm fine teacher okay um so where are you now i'm in home nice what's the weather like in your town snowy is it snowy yes do you like snowy weather yes so much nice me too i love snowy weather too i love when it snows i really wonder something so sometimes you go to wedding ceremonies but you don't know anyone in this wedding ceremony so how to survive at that kind of situation what do you think uh, i i can try uh, i will try to meet someone and talk with them and talk with him or her or the others that's nice that's really nice so you will try to meet new people right that's a really good opportunity for you to meet new people right yes it's a good opportunity yes okay nice so right now uh we are going to check some verbs together on google see the examples what you need to know ahead of 2022 etc or another example let read can you read this uh, example for me scientific games with drugs offer to cure the remaining 19% equity interest interest in skype skype play okay oh. so here the thing i want you to focus on offer to so right here now we're going to check another part together can you see my screen right now yes uh, i can see. nice so we will check uh the things we uh the verbs we checked just a minute before was infinitives they were called infinitives but how do we use them where do we use them let's see two infinitive for we to be able to use two infinitive first thing what is it after some verbs want to need to try to yes this is these are examples exactly so it should be after some verbs okay after some verbs but these are uh, not we shouldn't use it for with all of the verbs but we have uh some specific verbs that we need to use infinitive form for example one two need two and try to so you have verb here and two after it let's see the next rule what is it answer after question words where to go where to do what to do exactly so when we have question words what are our question words here where and what exactly after some question words we use two infinitive like you have your verb here where to go what to do right and next one here adjectives what nice and no, no 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 after the adjectives after adjectives like what are they nice to important to do you ever say nice to meet you to the other people when you meet them yes i, I you say it right do you say it's important to know that a combustion engine works with fossil fuel do you use that yes course you do and next one what's it say why why you do something i will sweet to make yeah so to say why you do something why you do something for example i wear suit to make a good impression right your main verb here is where but you say to make a good impression or i take online lessons to learning 
to learn English, right? To learn English. So that's the way to use it to say why you do something, okay? So these are some of the examples to, to infinitive. Now we are going to see gerunds, but after we do the next activity together about infinitives first. So you have some sentences here that you need to use infinitives, okay? Uh, I want you to answer these questions with the verbs above. You see the verbs there, the colorful verbs. So you will just drag and drop them. And that way you will answer the questions. You can start. You can save your answers, submit your answers. Nice, well done. All right, so here you can see uh, your assignment there on the writing part. How to survive a party where you don't know anyone. So I will give this one to you and you will submit it to me, okay? Now we will see some gerunds together how do we form gerunds so first what do we have here and start first verb and first, first verb. Verb. exactly first verb then we will add ing and we will have in the end Gerund. nice next one for example do ing and what what is it going to be doing doing exactly and next one let's see our example what's in our example i really enjoy doing exercise nice i really enjoy doing exercise is our example let's see the next part we use gerunds how do we use it? So first one is that. As a noun, as subject or subject of a sentence. Uh, first example, I should start. Eating, eating outside makes me feel good. Happiness is getting up late. What's the difference between two sentences here? So it says the first one is gerund. No, both of them are gerund. But here it says s. Here it says o. Why? Ah, right. So one of them is subject of your sentence. How eating outside makes me feel good. What makes me feel good? Eating outside. Okay, but here, happiness is getting up late. Here, it's our object. Uh, what is our subject here? Happiness. Happiness now. Okay, so now it's a different part. So th this is the subject. Uh, this is using gerund as a subject. And the second one is using gerund as object. Okay, good. Next, Next. one. After some verbs, like love, a. What does it mean? We use the gerund after some verbs. Hmm. Okay. okay, can you give me an example? Start your sentence with I. I love or I like. Open your mic, please. Open your mic. Okay, okay, that's it. 
That's it. That's it. Uh, I like swimming. That's it. That's it. Okay. I like swimming. I hate going Istanbul. Right? How do we form gerund? So we said we use the first word. For example, I hate. This is my verb. And I need my gerund, right? Right? I hate going to Istanbul. Or I hate doing homework. All right. Okay. Next one. After prepositions, as I left without saying goodbye. Hmm. So what do we need here? Preposition. Preposition. So we have without here, right? And after it, you say you use. Yeah. There. Exactly. Now you will write your name there. Your name from Zoom. I sent you a message on Zoom. Yes. These are uh, the verbs that you will choose from. So you chose eat for the first question. So you will not use it again, okay? And for your next questions, uh, you will you can use other uh, verbs, all right? Okay, so you can go on now. Please capital letter, use capital letter for the first word of your sentence. Nice. Something to work is a good Show me the sentence. It's a great way to take some of your steps. Mm -hmm. Something to work. To work. Work? What is work? To workplace. For example, for me, school. To school. Something to work is a great way to get some exercise. To exercise. To exercise. Driving or cycling. Or taking bus, which one? Capital letter, capital letter. 